That 1971 campaign saw the annihilation of her opponents within and outside the Congress. She was now the sole face of the Congress party. In December 1971, the third Indo-Pakistan war was ignited over the formation of an independent East Pakistan. The generals Manik Shaw and J.S. Arora leading her army, Indira Gandhi, invaded East Pakistan. The battle was decisive. Pakistani forces surrendered. Bangladesh declared independence. And Indian forces withdrew in record time before the United States had even had time to react. हमारे पड़ोस में अब नए नए हथियार आ रहे हैं हम हथियार से डरते नहीं है ना हम पाकिस्तान की पहली लड़ाइयों से डरे हम ये भी नहीं कहते हैं कि पाकिस्तान को अपने बचाव के लिए हथियार न मिले जरूर मिले लेकिन जो लोग देश दे रहे हैं उनको देखना है कि पाकिस्तान को किसका खतरा है हमला हुआ तो किस पे आज तक हुआ कोई पाकिस्तान पर हमला हुआ हमला हुआ हमारे ऊपर हिंदुस्तान के Richard Nixon called her a witch and a clever fox. But in India, Indira Gandhi was now Goddess Durga, conquering Empress of India. She was tremendously knowledgeable about the uses of power. And she was also always willing to use power internally or externally for India's purpose. On this respect, I would say, that she left Papa flat on the doormat. Between 1971 and 1975, she was at the very zenith of her power. For the next few years, Indira would march from triumph to triumph, each success adding to her personality cult. In 1974, the Buddha smiled. India went nuclear with Pokhran 1 in defiance of Western pressure. Indira was hailed even by her critics as a staunch nationalist. Just 12 months later, with the declaration of emergency, the same nationalist Indira Gandhi would be accused of pushing Indian democracy to the brink of disaster. Um, my friend Sri Chandraji Tiyadav said, the worst is over, but there are still difficulties. With all due respect, I would say, the worst is yet to come. We have no idea. Psychophancy had grown but I told you why mainly because of the young men these people thought that oh the people have taken emergency well and therefore we should continue with emergency that was the argument given historians will probably see Indira Gandhi in two distinct phases from 1967 to 1974 the emergence of a kind of mass leader that independent India had never seen before a woman determined to build India as a self-reliant nation. But from 1975 to 1984, she was the ruthless power politician, betraying the ideals she was brought up with, betraying her father, and consumed perhaps with guilt and loss of self-belief, she hurtled further into destruction, destruction of herself, destruction of political values. Very wonderful person. I don't think one will come across for years, generations and generations. Indra Gandhi will be remembered as a great patriot and a deeply flawed democrat. A hero of the Bangladesh war. She'll always be remembered, in my view, as the second best prime minister we had, the first being her father. Indira Gandhi, a patriot who chose a tragically wrong way to execute her patriotism. In the end, she seemed to have almost willed her own death, as if to say she was no longer equal to the new India.